What's up, YouTube? It's GB Smokescreen here, and back at it again with another video on the Yu Gi Oh! Master Duel. Uh, bringing you guys my Cyber Dragon deck profile that I've been using lately uh, for uh, climbing through ranked and just like Cyber Dragon, one of my personal favorite decks in all of Yu Gi Oh! Um, and everything ever since I started playing the game, ever since Nova came out uh, long ago, and everything I've been playing Cyber Dragon basically since then. And been pretty and it's been a fun time so anyway this is the cyber dragon list and everything it is pretty much complete list um there are some things i would rather be playing in the deck and everything like triple tox talent dark ruler no more like there there well not really dark ruler no more but like it, car, going second cards i would say uh are things i would prefer to be playing in the deck uh but we got the uh the triple lightning storms i we got the uh, triple lightning storms, as you can see. The triple evenly matches. We got imperms, uh, maxis, ashes. Like we're pretty set to go second. Um, and then we got the one kaiju as well. So there's another thing. And that's basically it. Now this is not like 100% done. It's basically done. The only real change I would make to the deck is the Volcasaurus that's in the extra deck. I would rather this be a Constellar play these, but um, I cannot, it's an ultra rare, uh, currently, I can actually, uh, let me just type that in real quick, like, Constellar Plates, he is a ultra rare, I can't really make an ultra rare right now, and I've been working on some other stuff, so not really making the Constellar, uh, the Constellar Plates right now, I have Volcasaurus, uh, just sitting in, um, in my stash, so I was like, you know what, Volcasaurus is good enough, let's go for that. All right, go for the Volcasaurus, pop a monster, upgrade into a Gaia Dragon, attack, go into Zeus. So that's, like, good enough to work with. And, yeah, so I got some replays for you guys. I got about, like, I have, like, ten replays in my um in my replay list. And I think I'm only going to be showing three because a lot of those replays are basically just Infinity Rampage for game. That's literally all it is. So like, that's literally what a lot of these replays are. So I'm not, so I'm going to try to keep them as diverse as possible. And yeah, let's just get right in uh, to the video and I will be right back with that. All right, so here we go in the first replay. Uh, starting with our, our opening hit's pretty good. Uh, we're actually going first in this replay, uh, actually, because he won the coin flip and decided to go second. Um, so we open with the Hertz into Machine Dupe, uh, go into a Al Mirage, and get the Hertz to switch out another Cyber Dragon. Then here we make a Nova. And uses the ability to bring out Cyber Dragon. But the thing is, my opponent makes a weird play here. And actually Valors my uh, Cyber Dragon Nova. Now, I want to point out something uh, beforehand. If he had... When I played my Machine Dupe earlier in the, earlier in the turn. Uh, on my Cyber Dragon Hertz. Hertz basically was treated as Cyber Dragon on the field. Uh, and everything. So basically Machine Dupe brought out two original Cyber Dragons. If my opponent had Valored my uh, Hertz beforehand when I played Machine Dupe, like when I chained, he should have chained Valor to my Hertz uh, on the Machine Dupe. Because if he had done that, instead of bringing out two OG Cyber Dragons, it would have brought out two Cyber Dragon Hertz instead because his name would no longer be treated as regular Cyber Dragon. So, the re so why he didn't do that instead of... Instead of uh, instead of using it on my Nova is beyond me, and probably he just didn't know that, but I just want to address that uh, beforehand. So let's get, keep going. I think. So anyway, he Valors my Nova, so I don't get to bring out a Cyber Dragon, which is perfectly fine. I don't really care about that. Uh, I go into a note, into a repair pad to search out a core uh, for a follow-up next turn, go for into Infinity, and yeah, he's bringing Sky Strikers, and goes for Ray summons uh, summons Ray, goes for Raigeki. Now, instead of negating with uh, Infinity of the Raigeki, I chain my Al Mirage to tribute himself off in order to protect Infinity from being uh, destroyed by the Raigeki. Because the Raigeki, because Infinity was the only one I was afraid didn't want to die. All right, so here he makes Hayate, and Hayate is just going to. Uh, attack me directly and mill himself a uh, shark cannon. And then here he's just going to make a Shizuku 
and pass turn on the search. Uh, on his search for Shizuku, I ash that so he doesn't get to get his search off. And yeah, so we just go into our next turn, and yeah, I'm just planning on killing him. Uh, we drew a core for turn, uh, which is not, eh, it was like a whatever draw and everything. We had core already. Uh, so I suck up the Shizuku with Infinity, go for the core and search Rev System to search up, summon out Hertz. Uh, Link summon into a Verte Anaconda. And then Hertz gonna bring back the core that I used in my graveyard. And Verte is just gonna send the Overload Fusion. Here he plays uh, Hornet Drones. And then I let that go through because I can easily just, he didn't have to. Uh, four spells in his graveyard, so it's just here with zero defense. So I'm able to just uh, kill it with my uh, Verte and then do the rest of the damage with Rampage and Infinity. So we mill two Cyber Dragon, so that way Rampage can attack three times. Uh, and yeah, we just kill him with uh, Rampage three times and one Infinity. Yeah, that's basically what majority of these replays were, just very, just Infinity and Rampage just kept straight out just killing them. And yeah, so I'm going to try to keep that, uh, keep the replays as diverse as I can. Uh, but that's what majority, that's what majority of these replays ended on. Uh, anyway, let's get into the next replay. So here we go into the next replay. Once again, uh... I went first. Uh, this build this is not designed to go first, uh, but my opponent kept winning the die roll uh, and ended up choosing second. So, anyway, uh, I go Hertz into Machine Dupe uh, to bring up two OG Cyber Dragons, make the El Mirage, and go into Infinity. This, uh, sorry, go into uh, Nova, bring back a Cyber Dragon, and then make Infinity. It's basically like what majority of Cyber Dragon decks' turn one plays are on Master Duel because like we don't have start a synchron, we don't have, all right, we don't have start a synchron in this in this game, so we're not able to make the uh, Shen Shen, the virtual world Shen Shen. Uh, so here's why I wanted to show this replay because it was actually a Cyber Dragon mirror match, <laughs> which is probably one of the worst cyber one of the worst mat, uh, mirror matches in the entire game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, because basically, if you're a cyber, if you're a Cyber Dragon mirror match, whoever went second most of the time wins. So here he super polys uh, to for a rampage dragon and uh, fuse my guys away. So I go for he goes for rampage. This was actually in chain of him sending cards. He actually didn't use the popping effect off it. So. Yeah, so I negate his uh, Rampage from being able to attack multiple times. I didn't really want him to mill, honestly, is what the point of that was. So he sets two uh, back row, attack my Al Mirage, and passes. So here, uh, I'm able to summon my Cyber Dragon and Core, get a search up for a Repair Plant, fuse away his uh, his Rampage into a Mega Fleet. Here, I Repair Plant, search out Nashter. Uh, use Nashter's ability to ditch Galaxy Soldier Nashter. Nasher brings back Nova. And then we're just going to go for an attack. Now, I took a risk on this uh, of attacking uh, with uh, with this instead of making the Nova Infinity. Because if these two back rows were nothing, then this was basically game. Because I could just uh, use Nova's ability to banish Nasher or any Cyber Dragon on my field to double his attack. And yeah, this and that basically just ended the game right there. I was very shocked I won that duel and everything just because freaking a cyber dragon mirror if you go second in a cyber dragon mirror most of the time you win most of the time you just win because you just fuse your opponent's entire field away um why he used super poly on my field i don't understand because he could have just contact fused them so he could have just contact fused my guys away so i don't know why he didn't just do that unless he wasn't playing fortress for some odd reason so Anyway, uh, let's get into the uh, next and last replay. So here we go into the final replay. This is against another Sky Striker player um, and everything. And this game I played very fucking weird. Uh, for once, I actually get to go second. 
uh, in this game, and I open evenly match an Ash and a Kaiju, uh, which is really, really, uh, really good for going second. Um, now he goes for the Shichizuku and sets one and passes on that. I go for the Ash just so he doesn't get the search off for engage. And here I made the dumbest. I don't know why I did this. All right. I don't know why I did this. I don't even remember what was going through my head when I did this. Uh, I drew another Ash for turn. I go straight to Battleface and evenly match him. He has two cards. Like, I don't know why I did that. I still don't understand why I did that. Um, I even questioned it after I did it. So, yeah. Um, don't do that. Don't do that. I just did that and hope he would get rid of his back row because I can deal with his monster easy. But, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> anyway, he goes for the Max C. I go for the Ash. Uh, Max C's my Galaxy Soldier. I go for Ash so he doesn't get to draw because I'm planning on summoning like four more times. So, uh, I just Ash his uh, Max C. I go for the Galaxy Soldier effect. He chained Valor, which sucked. Because basically this was my ending board. <laughs> Alright, this was basically my ending board uh, to end on. Because I went into main phase 2, so I can't make Verte go into Rampage and shit like that. So, yeah. So you drew Ray for turn. Normal's Ray. And uh, kills Galaxy Soldier. Then uses the ability to link into Hayate. And kills my Al Mirage. And mills himself into Engage. Here he goes into a Kagari. And uh, he makes a Gagari and uses the ability to get back the engage in his hand. He didn't use it this turn. I don't know why he didn't. I, I would have used it off like immediately, but it's whatever. I imagine he just wanted to try to get the consistency off of it with the draw until his uh, graveyard was loaded. So he goes to Shizuku uh, and adds himself a second engage, which is pretty good. All right. Uh, here... Um, I draw into a core, which is perfect. Go into, I tribute this guy for his, uh, for a kaiju, go for core and search overflow. Now this, now the reason for going for this is because I didn't have a follow up and I wasn't killing him this turn. There's no shot. I kill him. So what I did was I just search the overflow, fuse into fortress, and then just go for, uh, attack. All right. I just tried to, I just summoned the kaiju. So core couldn't get widow anchored and everything we uh have the over and then so i set up the over set the overflow so that way he i'd be set up for the next turn and there i'd be able to defend myself so he goes for afterburner to target fortress i just go for overflow uh to just pop some cards all right i pop the one because his uh hayate is now unaffected so i'm just gonna be banishing the hurts off my overflow and pop his card. He goes for Afterburner, and for some odd reason, popped my Overflow when his Afterburner resolved. I don't know why he did this. Probably he didn't know that um, either one of two things. He either didn't know that uh, Overflow gets a search when destroyed, or he thought its effect, uh, you can only use one of its effects per turn. Like, it was a hard once per turn. Like, like, bur like the Burning Abyss monsters, for example. So... Don't know why he did that, but I get the search of emergency, so I wasn't complaining. All right. Um, so we activate engage, goes for shark cannon, and gets a draw. Uh, multi roll. He drew multi roll off the engage because I'm really sure he would have used it earlier when he played afterburner. Um, so he shark cannons my ash, brings out uh, Halka Fibrax. Here I already knew what was going to happen. He's going to summon out Valor, go into Selene. Um, into Selene and Mian, and then uh, bring back the uh, Valor, uh, bring back Valor, and then bring out the uh, access code. I already knew this, is, this was going. All right, so I was just praying that he didn't have a way to bring out a uh, like a Ray or any of the Sky Striker cards, and everything because they're all 1500. I only this is going to go up to 5300 attack. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna live. And I go into, we're going to go into my next turn. He sets an Ego Booster to protect his access code. But because it's in the extra monster zone, I don't have an issue with it. And I drew Machine Dupe with turn, which was absolutely pog. So I go for Core's ability. He chains Max C. Honestly, 
I had no choice. Um, if he, I just had to pray he doesn't draw into any like severe hand traps off of this. So I go into core, get out Nashter, and Nashter is going to bring back a Cyber Dragon. From here, I go into a Machine Dupe to bring out two more Cyber Dragons. And he draws one off the maxi. I fuse away his access code with Nashter to make a mech fleet. And just attack for game just like that. And yeah, like I I played that game very fucking weird. Um, I played that game very weird, but I feel like I wouldn't have won that game had he... Well, actually, no, it didn't even, actually it didn't even matter because like I didn't even use the emergency in my turn. So like him popping the overflow didn't even matter. So uh, in that sense, but goes to show you um, just goes to show you and everything. You could play very you could play the game pretty sloppy and still for, and still just uh, somehow push out a win. Just goes to show. Anyway, uh, let's go back to the deck list. So, the freaking, so that just, yeah, those were the uh, replays and everything. This was the list I was using. It wasn't this exact list at the time uh, during those replays and everything. I'm pretty sure uh, in some of those, in like one or two of those replays, um, I think I only had the one Lightning Star at the time, and then I had Red Geki and shit like that and Triple Prosperities. Um, I think that's what it was like at the time, but uh, I recently got to get the third light the second and third lightning storms and just cut those cards so that's basically um it for the video uh guys hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did hit the like button down below and all right and comment uh down below it what you guys think of the video subscribe if you are new supports always greatly appreciate you guys and with that being said i will talk to you guys all later goodbye also one more thing if you guys ever feel like adding me on all right, on Master Duel, to ever see if you want if I'm on, uh, and stuff like that. Be free to add me. This is my uh, friend ID, and yeah, go follow me if you guys feel if you guys feel free. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys all later. Goodbye.